singles that are going to come for him, right? Um, yeah, and, and that's, you know, possibly even in the first half, I think. Um, Big James has probably gone through one of those wee patches. He had a couple against Linfield. He, I'd have put my house on. He's, he's probably four good chances today, and I'd have put my house on most of them. <laughs> that's why I don't gamble. Um, but from that point of view, it, it, you always worry, particularly in a cup game, that when you don't take your chances, you know, they hit the crossbar when it's at 1-0, um, and, and they kind of big big moments in the game. And I think that's why the Skinner's goal in particular, although it put us 2-0 up, which people say is a precarious lead, I think in the manner of the game and the way that the game had gone, I think it was a, a massive goal. And like, it, it could happen there, Craig, come out the second half on one occasion. It's just a matter of reading that storm out. So. Yeah, we, we spoke about it at half time and you rail everybody up and you try and get everybody ready for it because you know it's common to try and deal with that first 10 or 15 minutes. And 10 became 15, became 20, became 25. And credit to Glenavon, you know, you could. And I knew from. I'm close with Gary and I spoke to Gary pre Christmas probably. And I think with early position, you knew that everything was. It was all, all eggs in one basket today. So you knew what they would bring to it, you knew that they wouldn't lie down and you knew that they would keep going and keep going and keep going. So uh, for our guys to withstand that, to keep the clean sheet, but a really hard place to come and, and get that second goal, it was a, a monster of an effort. I suppose it was all about the result today, you know, with them back, just making in the next round. Yeah, and, and particularly off, I think any year it is, but particularly off the back of the last two weeks and five games that we've had, and it's the same for Glenavon as well, you know, we're patched up, they're patched up, you're coming in here and it's it's nearly as much a, a mental struggle as it is a physical one. So I think credit, you know, to both players and both sets of teams in relation to how they how they went about the game today. Um, and as I say, for us, we're just delighted to be over the line. And how tough was it, like after such a busy two fortnight there, just to get everybody up and going for such yeah, a big game? Yeah, I think you know we we had a couple of suspensions. Stephen Larry and James were suspended, and and that probably in a way helped us. We got through the Carrick game on Wednesday, and, and at least it gave them a bit of freshness. Skinner was carrying a wee egg into the Carrick game, and it didn't risk him either. So. We probably have those three that you're really looking to with their freshness to try and to try and lead the line. But we've other guys like Josh Carson's played five full nineties, Lennon Keane's played five full nineties, Josh's stats are off the station for the five full nineties. Jimmy Glacken's not far behind it in relation to I think he'd maybe come off at ten minutes to go the other day. So it's been an unbelievable effort from our boys to be fair and, and it's it's brilliant to know that we don't have a game for about five or six days. <laughs> and quite surreal because there's a lot of tired bodies. I think Tuesday night for us will probably just be a, a listener and a recovery to really, really try and charge the batteries again for another big one next Friday night. As I say, it is a big game of Crusaders and it's one on T V under lights, it's got everything that you want. Yeah, huge, and um, you know we've, it's it's always a ding dong with Crusaders, and it has been in the last few seasons. So I'd expect Friday night to be no different. So it's important now, as I say, you know we're through that that rut of games that we wanted to get through. We're happy with probably our output over those five games and, and what we've what we've achieved. The key thing now is, I suppose, to get as much get those batteries charged as high as possible to to kick on for the next part of the season.